Hello, I'm David from Winning Solutions. I hope you're having a great day, and thank you for viewing our web page and templates. At Winning Solutions, we have a huge array of database templates to choose from for almost any business need you have. Buying our developer use versions will get you the entire source code and also allow you to include the template as part of a larger project and customize the database down to the finest detail to meet your company's specific needs. Shrink-wrapped software generally doesn't allow that. You have to use it as is with no customizations. If you don't like the way something works or want a new feature to be added or anything of that sort, well, contact customer service. Hopefully they'll get to it in the next update. With Winning Solutions, the licensing is very generous. The app can be used by as many people on as many computers as you want. And applications can be customized to your heart's content by you or anyone else with a knowledge of Microsoft Access. If you don't have this expertise or know someone who does, Winning Solutions can make any customizations you like, or perhaps build a brand new system from scratch. With Microsoft Access, nothing is ever impossible. If you need it, we can make it happen. Just contact us for a quote. These days, there is understandably a big push for mobile and web-based apps. If that meets your needs better, then we could do that for you too. But Access continues to be a popular tool because it's included with some versions of Microsoft Office, is relatively inexpensive, and is easy to work with for people with limited programming knowledge. Okay, so let's take a look at the call tracker demo. Okay, so when we open up the database, we're going to see our main menu here. Now, most of what we're going to do, not, not most, but we're going to start with maintain lists. Maintain lists is to populate drop-down boxes throughout the application for lookup tables. And we can edit and add items. You can also, with the full version, we can add lists to this as well. It's actually quite easy. Uh, so category... It's a call tracker database, right? So category, let's say uh, callback, um, um, accept call, uh, call call, something like that. Uh, call tracker database. Okay, we're just going to leave these status alone, priority, high, low, and normal. Uh, you can add, of course, to these. And remove and edit. Like I said, with a full version that's fully customizable, you can add lists to this as well. So let's go ahead and close this. Uh, let's get to employees first. There are no employees in here, so let's add a new employee. Okay, you can add things like photos to this. You can add, add a photo to um, if you have it. Uh, we won't do that here, but let's add a couple more employees. Okay, so open calls. So there's nothing here to put, nothing to put in there yet. Now let's go ahead and we can, we have the employee search now. Go ahead and add customers. So there's no customers in here, so we're gonna have to add one. And of course we can search by a two, first name, last name, anything you put, anything that's checked off here, whatever, in, will search that category. So if I put in Jones, but only have last name check, we'll only check for last name, Jones. Right, so. Uh, let's go ahead and add a new customer. Put in one more customer. Okay, so let's go ahead and close these. And of course we have the two customers here. Now, we're gonna go to calls. And so there don't appear to be any calls in here right now. So we're going to add a new call. And this is where some of those maintain list items come into play. So we're going to uh, title, we're going to say um, service call. 
this is supposed to be very generic, I should say. So this is these templates are meant to be generic. They're meant to be expanded upon or added to a larger application. So what a, it may see, you may look at this and says call tractor. Well, again, you might have a lot of different businesses or applications where you might need to track calls, whether it's customer service, um, you know, you, you, you're calling back customers in a, in a sales capacity, sales leads. So this is meant to be plug inable, pl plug, plug inable, plug inable. Uh, that's a word uh, to various applications. And of course, this can be customized to your heart's content once you have the full version with the uh, with the source code and everything available in design mode. And of course, it, you know, you can change this if you or yourself, anyone you know, has access knowledge. If not, you can hire someone or, you know, you can hire us to do it as well. So we're going to where we have our um, we have our employees and we're going to sign this call to Jeff. The caller was Frodo Baggins. Let's say, let's say it was opened by Jeff, opened by, and it has today's date on it. Due date, let's say tomorrow, because it's kind of late. <laughs> uh, let's say normal, status active. And of course, you know, you, you can manage the calls in this way too. Let's see, we resolve his own situation. Um, let's say accept call or call back, doesn't really matter. Okay, attachments, if there's any type of, if there's any type of photo or document needs to be attached, you can do that here. Okay, so we'll just leave that. We'll put in one more call. I have no idea what business this is that we're running here, but. Uh, that we're running in this application, but again, this is meant to this is meant to be very generic. Let's see, Maria Jones. This one was opened by the boss, and uh, so the caller is. I forgot which one we used already. Um, Due date, let's say, it could take a long time to find a lightsaber. Let's say the 19th. Uh, it's pretty important, right? Status, in let's say that's in progress, category, and you get the idea. So we don't need to go through all of these. We'll go ahead and close this. So finally, we can go to reports, and we can say open calls. I don't know if there are any open calls. Oh, there is. Okay, so these are the open calls we currently have. And this can be customized. Of course, you can put change the font, change, you know, the lookout, uh, the, the look and feel of the form, and a company logo. Really, the sky's the limit with that type of thing. Customer phone list. And, of course, we can, I didn't put phones in for any of them, but, you know, you can, of course, uh, add reports to this. If there's any other type of thing that you need to... Uh, that you need to know. And of course, um, we can add reports this way. Um, and that's pretty much it. Again, it's a way of assigning calls. Now you may have more features you want to put in. You may want to put in a scheduling thing. So it's, it's or a way to keep track of which cust which employees call which customers. And that, of course, can be added on to here. So don't think that what you're seeing is the final product. This is a template. It's meant to be expanded upon or included as part of a larger application. So really, the sky is the limit with Microsoft Access and our templates. Again, they're reasonably priced, but they're made for you to be able to customize them or someone else. Shrink wrap software, you generally can't do that. So... It's not, it doesn't look like much here, but it can be anything you want. And that's the, that's the important thing. So that brings us to the end of the call tracker database template. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos, more tutorials, and other great stuff. And have a great day.